I'm Ina Freed with All Things Digital. I'm here with Mike Lazaridis, co-CEO of Research in Motion. We know them best for their BlackBerry, but they're expanding beyond the BlackBerry to the tablet world with something they call the Playbook. You've talked a little bit about this already this year. It's not going to ship till early next year, but you did give us a chance to kind of take a look and see it a little more in action than we have. What are some of the things that you think really make it stand out? Well, I think what makes it stand out is its, it's professional operating platform. Um, you know, multitasking, real time. You know, these are the things that you're going to, this is the new way you're going to be interacting with the information, whether it's, um, you know, email, or whether it's music, whether it's videos, whether it's the web, whether it's applications. Um, this, is a, this is a different way of interacting with these because it's all about these, these gestures that allow you to stay connected, let you get between apps. I mean, you can see it here. Here's, for instance, here's a, here's a Word document that I've got running. And next to it, I've got a calculator. And I can, I can use that for doing unit conversions. I can calculate my tip. It's all there. Um, here, I've, I've got an Air app running. Uh, it's, it's an so it runs app, like, Adobe Air, it runs Flash. Right. And it's all there, right? So, Multitask. So some of the things that people have said, we really want these from a tablet. One of the choices you guys made is that we don't need to put, at least initially, we're not going to put a cellular modem in there. You can connect over well, Wi-Fi. You already have a cellular modem. It's, it's your smartphone. Um, right. Does that, you feel, going to allow you to come in less expensively, especially when you think about it on a monthly basis? I think so. I think that um, you've already got your... your, your uh, your BlackBerry, and you know, is perfect way to, to work with the enterprise customers because they've already got their their BlackBerry deployments, they've already got their BlackBerry servers, they've already got accounts, and they've already got those things authorized. This way, they can they can connect um, the BlackBerry, whether it's corporate owned or personal owned. You can connect that to your BlackBerry. You can view your BlackBerry applications on here. But if this device is lost or stolen, all that data disappears. So nothing's stored on here from a corporate side. Now, when you hold up this device, it looks way different than anything that people would ever associate with the Blackberries of the past. And one of the reasons is it's running completely different software. It's running Qnix, a version of Unix that's been around in embedded systems for a really long time. That's the future of the Blackberry. You've talked about moving phones eventually over to this new operating system. But what does it look like in terms of the roadmap of getting there? A lot of people say, you know, despite your best efforts, even with the Torch, BlackBerry just doesn't do the things that people want from a smartphone today. How quickly do you get to a more powerful base? Well, here's a couple things. First of all, if you take a look at how we've done multitasking, this is the whole app switching paradigm. It's already in the BlackBerry. BlackBerry's been doing app, app switching and multitasking from day one. And it's, it did it so well that most people didn't even know they were running multitasking environments. So they can go from one app to another, all the data is handled, um, menus are context sensitive, you can copy and case and paste between applications. All that worked flawlessly on BlackBerry and it wasn't, we didn't have to call out attention to it. That's carried over in the BlackBerry playbook because now you can go between these apps. It doesn't matter what the app that's running, whether it's a PDF viewer, whether it's a, a music application, whether it's a picture viewer, doesn't How really matter. How quickly do you get there on the phone? Because I think people would say, yeah, I would want that experience on the phone, but they're increasingly less happy with the experience they're getting on the current generation of Blackberries. And I'm curious how long it takes to get over there. Well, I think, I think the, the, you know, I've been fairly clear today. I've been, I've been talking about how the BlackBerry Playbook Tablet OS is designed for multi-core environments. That's its real, that's when it really unleashes its power. And in those multi-core environments, you know, we've got um, products coming out. Some of those products are smartphones. And you, know, you have to understand that BlackBerry is growing around the world because BlackBerry works extremely well on the networks around the world. There's still large communities, you know, large, uh, large countries of users that are still running on 2G. And in those environments, BlackBerry is perfectly designed. And that's why we're seeing phenomenal growth in countries around the world, whether it's Indonesia, whether it's Africa, whether it's South America, or Europe. Now, one of the interesting things about what you've done with the playbook, it runs a bunch of different things. It's Qnix based, but it can run Adobe Air. You talked about a lot of things. Flash, Air, I heard JavaScript, like Android Java. Android applications might be on that list. Any chance it runs Android? Well, I think, I think it's going to run Java. I think that Java is sort of the, the um, you know, the, the common denominator in a lot of these things. What we're trying to do is we're trying to open this up to large audiences of developers. And you cannot deny 
that Adobe has over three million developers, whether they're developing for Flash, whether they're using Adobe uh, tools to create content, or they have a large stash of developed content. We're, BlackBerry is the perfect platform for mobile computing when it comes to Flash content developers and, and Air developers. And that's a huge community. Obviously, Obviously Android there. would add hundreds of thousands of other applications and developers. Right. That's true. But what we're doing is we're opening it up to um, really the web. That's really what we're trying to do. We're saying that you know, you, it's foolish to fight the web. And the web has, has, has become the platform around the world. And that platform runs HTML5, it runs Flash, it runs WebKit, it runs JavaScript. And WebWorks was our unification of the web platform with Java by, by using our, our WebWorks platform. And WebWorks will run here, it will run on, on the BlackBerry environment, it will provide a, a common platform for both. But the whole point of Playbook is to bring the power of tablets up to the web platform. And how do you get the developers? Because that's obviously one of the key challenges. You know, there may be multiple smartphone operating systems and tablet operating systems on the market, but developers have limited time and resources, and um, you guys haven't always been at the forefront the, of that. The way, the way that we, well, let's let's go in a different way. You know, when, when we created the BlackBerry platform, we created a large market for enterprise applications. And we have the largest suite of enterprise applications and, app and enterprise developers in the world. And they support the BlackBerry community of enterprise users, which is quite substantial. What we decided to do here was rather than creating yet another platform, we decided to enable the platforms that are already used in the, on the web. And those platforms are Flash, HTML5, and JavaScript. And that's what runs on here. So, so basically you get web developers, if they can write for the web, they can write for you. And they already are. So the playbook is coming out early next year, sometime in the first quarter. That's right. Uh, prices, you know, it's smaller than the iPad, so it should be cheaper be than the it'll iPad. It'll be competitive. It'll be competitive, cheaper than the iPad? Well, I would argue this has got a lot more power than the iPad. Okay, so maybe a little bit more than the iPad. Well, thank you so much, Mike Lazaridis. It's my pleasure. Thank for you. all things digital, I'm Ina Freed. <laughs>